Hi HCGers, this is HCG Berry Babe checking in. I keep hoping that I'm going to have better news, but they say no news is good news, but in my case, no news is not good news. I guess if I have good news, you're going to see me more often. Um, it was 166.5 today. That's 2.3 still above LIW. I was down half a pound, but the day before that I was up a pound and a half. So I'm not um, super optimistic for tomorrow. I do really well, really, really, really well during the day. And then um, sundowner kind of thing starts happening and the carbs start calling. And I'm not eating super amounts, binging kinds of things. But it's enough that it doesn't cause me to lose. This HCG is powerful stuff. It takes it away and it also gives it back. So, um, actually today was kind of an optimistic day, even though, well, during the day I was feeling optimistic because it wasn't until the evening that things kind of slid. So... I was thinking I need some sort of a job that takes me from 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock and then I'd come home and crash. I haven't been sleeping real well, didn't get in enough water yesterday. Tried harder today to get in the water. Um, I bought some beads to make myself a counter, but I haven't gotten around to actually doing it yet. Um, procrastinated as usual about getting the taxes done and was not able to get in to see the accountant usually we get in and she does just enough to tell us how much we have to pay or whether we have to pay to get an extension usually come October is when we're finalizing our taxes that's pretty sad but that's just my ADHD way and my husband's no better he hates taxes worse than I do Next year, though, I will have been in business for myself all year, and I have to, have to, have to get some systems in place. So that's one of the things I've been working on. So she couldn't get us in, and this has been a really strange year. My husband um, gets retirement, and for part of the year, um, January through June, he worked... Um, for a school district and I also worked for a school district as a teacher until June and then I had unemployment insurance and the government they took state taxes out of my unemployment but they didn't take federal taxes out so I have to pay all on that so today I bought the TurboTax not to send in my taxes, but to just figure them out enough to know whether we were going to have to pay or whether we'd be okay. And on the federal, it came out um, looking pretty good. In fact, once you added in um, the interest that we paid on the house, we own this house, and then we also own a house that um, someone rents from us and it covers all our expenses so it's a wash we don't make money on it um, and they did have a plan that they wanted to buy the house so we don't even report it that there's anything going on because they pay us exactly what it costs us to carry the house otherwise we'd probably just walk away from it and take a hit on our credit but um, the taxes came out okay so I'm going to be able to file the extension without having any money um, to pay them. I still haven't done the states yet. TurboTax wants $45 to do the state tax and I thought mm, no. So I have to replace the printer in my the, the ink in my printer in order to print off the state forms to run it through to see if I have to send anything to the state um, for taxes. I just hate paying taxes. It's like take it out take it out up front. Um, having to send in payments for income is going to be hard for me. I'm, I'm going to try to just take 50% of everything that comes in and put it aside for um, expenses. That's the only way I'm going to be able to cover um, 
have enough money to cover. I don't budget well. I don't save money well. I like to spend money. Um, haven't heard anything on the potential consultant job yet. Um, they had said beginning of the week, early in the week, so, you know, I consider that through Wednesday. I just don't know what to think. Um, I'm a pretty strong-willed person, and I'm very overqualified for the job. Um, if you look at my resume, um, I think it's a good match given where I am in my life. I told them I'm not ready to be finished yet. I may be looking at retirement from the state, retirement from teaching, but I'm not ready to sit down and and um, be an old lady. So it all depends on the personality match, the person who's going to be supervising me. If they think whether I can do the job or not isn't, isn't necessarily um, the case. It's whether um, there's a personality connection and he was very subdued. He was a very subdued young man. I didn't get much read from him at all. So if they decline to offer me the position, I'm going to have to do some pumping. <laughs> But for today, I always used to like to interview for jobs because even if you didn't get them, there was a window of possibility that created some interest and some energy. And when you have ADHD, you have to create that energy in order to get anything moving. No energy, there's no action. And so um, I moved forward a little bit on my private consulting today and... Um, did get a new cheap, cheap, cheap uh, PC that I can haul around and won't worry so much about somebody walking off with it. A couple years ago I got a, a new Mac Pro and the thought of hauling that around and leaving it in the car um, or leaving it in maybe in a classroom when I watch a kid in another location scares me to death. So with this one, everything's done online, and I was able to do the TurboTax on this computer. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days is trying to... Windows A is different, um, and I've been away from Windows for a little while, so that's I've been trying to learn that. I bought Windows for Dummies and um, trying to figure out just how to get things moving. So, I'm hoping I've got a release in the morning. i um, hoping I haven't shot myself in the foot one more time. It would be nice to get back to my LIW. It would be nice to break 160. Um, I um, told Hubby Dobby, I think that maybe I'm afraid of the 150s. Never been there as an adult. can only vaguely remember being there when I was 12 years old. So i got to think about that, because that's a very real thing. I'm hearing a lot of people saying, oh, if I get to the 160s, I'll be satisfied. But you know what? I want this fat that doesn't belong on me gone. I've lived with it all my life, and I want it gone. So, hmm, I think I'm going to have to make myself watch this vlog. all oh, 847, I'm sorry, it's so long. Minutes of it the next time I feel like eating off my mop. So, have a good evening or morning if you're just now seeing this. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.